how to get started with Solana the easy way. I'm gonna just show you how you can set up a really easy wallet using solet.io and I'm gonna to have to hide the keys, but follow along this tutorial so that you can actually start using the Solana ecosystem. And I'll also be showing in a few other videos how you can interact with DeFi apps. So go to solana.io, you can create a new wallet. You have to write down the 24 words and keep them in a safe place. So I'm gonna copy these words. I have to make sure that this is not something that you guys can see, otherwise you've got all of my Solana wallet funds. I have saved these words in a safe place and I click on continue. I'm gonna to have to re-enter my seed name here and click on continue. This is definitely not the best way to do it. I would, highly, I would recommend to write it down on a piece of paper, but this is just like to show you guys how to set up this, the Solana um, wallet I'm gonna create a new password and click on create wallet. So that's it, I've already got a wallet. This is my address and I'm gonna to have to fund this wallet with a little bit of money. So before I can actually send some soul to my newly created wallet, I'll just quickly show how you can actually buy some soul tokens on Binance. I've got some USDT on my wallet here, $59. So I head over, I'm at the trading tab, advanced. And here on the left hand side, you can select Sol USDT. Let's select this one. Make sure you've got Spot selected. Then, what you can do, I highly recommend using a limit order, as that will actually ensure that you get the price that you select. So, just click here on the price. So, you can also select another price, but um, it's possible that it doesn't get bought up. You can also select another price, but it's possible that no one actually um, sells you the tokens. So what I'm gonna do is actually make sure here it's on buy and then click here, I'm gonna buy for $48. And then I can select how many I would like to buy. I can buy 1.239. I click on buy so. And as you can see here, it's now in the order book, so the little dot, and hopefully in just a bit, it's gonna go through. And it just got sold to me here on my screen and see sold available is 1.23 Solana tokens. So now I just head over to my wallet, Fiat and Spot. And I'm gonna send my Solar tokens to my wallet address. So I click on withdraw, Solana, the address that I just created, this one here, I click on receive. And this is my address, I can click on copy 5S2GO and seven, go back to Binance. I'll paste that here. The minimum withdrawal is 0.02, I'll select max. The price is 0.01, so pretty low. Click on submit, click to get code. 05627 and I'm gonna to have to input my authentication. 77572684. Click on submit. Withdrawal request submitted. So this is gonna maybe take a little bit. Very often the duration of the withdrawal was depending on how many people are withdrawing at the same time on Binance. So I'll come back to you in a bit when this is done. All right, it looks like my SOL tokens have reached my wallet. I've got $59.56. And that will allow me to interact with many DeFi apps on Solana. So it looks like I've received my SOL token on my account. Let's have a look at the transaction on the Solana ecosystem. I'm quite interested to see how many fees I've paid. So my balance 1.22, it was 0.01. That was the fee that was requested by Binance. But maybe we can actually see um, how much I paid. So this was the fee in Sol that I paid, 0 0.00005. I don't see what the price is in USD, but that is actually really, really small. So that's pretty awesome. If you like this type of content, I highly recommend that you hit that subscribe button, like if you enjoyed this Solana ecosystem content. I'll be bringing out a lot more videos talking about the DeFi space on Solana and how to use the decentralized exchanges and all of the DeFi apps running on it. I'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.